welcome back and uh, uh, in this uh, session we will see uh, the projection of a circular lamina so previous uh, session we see the projection of a pentagon lamina and i wanted you to work on a hexagonal lamina right try practicing solving some hexagonal uh, lamina projections on, a, on your own if you are facing any issues uh, kindly let me know so today we will solve this fifth problem uh, draw the projections of a circular lamina of diameter 50 mm resting on the ground here ground represents hp always your ground represent hp on the point a on the circumference its surface is inclined 45 degree to hp and the plan of the diameter AE makes 30 degree with VP draw its projection. So this is the question we need to we are going to work on. So I will just go for AutoCAD first and I will set the units and limits. I will type units enter and keep this as millimeters. OK, now I will check my limits. Enter 0 comma 0 enter 420 comma 297 enter is it enter a enter. So this is going to be my uh, final uh, workspace which I'm where I'm going to work so I will switch on my ortho and I will go for line and I will just draw a line and I will just draw a line escape and I will just keep this line as like a little thin okay so this is my axis line top of the axis line I have my um, uh, VP and below that I have my uh, HP. Now, as per the question, I have a circular lamina of diameter 50 mm resting on HP. Okay, so I will just go for not okay. Uh, I will go for center diameter. So from here at a diameter of 50, enter. So this is a circle of diameter uh, 50 mm right so i will zoom it uh, or if you want to move it along i can just click this enter with the center point i can move it to my convenient position now i need to divide the circle into eight parts as we all know so from center i will draw a line escape and similarly from this one to this end and similarly from the center point to this end and from a line from center point to this end and now again i need to draw two 45 degree lines so i will go go by line and um, yeah okay i will I, I need to draw a 45 degree line right uh, in between this so you can see you can first switch off your ortho yeah this is what i need okay okay now i keep my line like this and now your uh, blue color see your blue color shading is in the length of the component or length of the line what you're trying once i press tab it will move back to your uh, angle you can see right now it is in length now it is an angle so you need the angle of 45 i just type and enter 45 now this line will be in an angle of 45 now i will just uh, trim off my remaining portions and i will press escape so now i can extend this line so in equal with this line and i can just trim out my remaining portion similarly i will i should uh, draw a line from this point and uh, you just with the help of o snap right you ensure that whether your perpendicular icon is switched on so that you can easily draw you can see this uh, green line and you can easily draw that uh, uh, thing right so this is going to be my uh, first plane so now i will just name this go for single line text and from maybe from this end i need to mark and height will be some 3.5 enter text angle will be zero enter so from here i will start naming it a b c d e f g and h right i will press escape so i have uh, created all those things or all the namings then i will just go and i will change the color to medium thick and now i will draw the projection lines from each and every end right and i will switch on my ortho so that it will be easy so press enter to take the previous command so and i will just draw enter and i can draw the projection enter to close and once more enter to draw this sorry enter and from this point to here enter similarly enter and from this point to 
this point okay uh, if uh, if someone feels these kind of lines are uh, uh, interrupting you these kind of lines are intersecting or interrupting your view or you are feeling difficult you can switch off the grid here you have a grid icon and the shortcut to use the grid icon is f7 so that you can click this to uh, switch off your uh, grids right some some people may find like these kind of lines are disturbing their drawing or disturbing their view so that you can switch off your grid and uh, you can work on it if you want to uh, use the grid you can just take and click you will you can see your grid icon possibly so now i need to draw the front view so i'm changing the color to white now i go back for line and from this end to this end is going to be my front view i will press escape now i i can just take and give namings to that i will just give text single line text and maybe at this end 3.5 enter zero enter so here you will have a dash and at this point you have b dash will be visible h dash will be invisible right at this end you have maybe maybe c dash will be visible g dash will be invisible and d dash and f dash here right d dash and f dash okay and in the end you have e dash e dash right so now it's time to keep all the points so i will go for draw i will choose points and i will keep some point this side this side and this side to just get the projection know that how the point is not visible so make this point visible what i will do is i will go for ddpt that we know right ddpt uh, enter so i will just select this and i will press ok now you can see all those points will be visible for me now as i go back to the question you see a circular lamina of diameter 50 m resting on head ground that is hp on the point a on the circumference its surface is inclined 45 degree to hp this is the surface inclination it is resting on hp and i will go with the hp angle first so i will go with 45 degree to hp All right so i will go for it now i need to just copy this i will copy each and every segment including the points which is very important right i will copy everything enter and from this end to this end i will keep it and i will press escape now i need to tilt this to 45 right 45 degree to uh, hp now um, to rotate this i will select this and at a stretch you can select uh, each and every component right at a stretch you will just uh, select uh, each and every component press enter now specify the base point and as you know it will uh, always uh, counter clockwise uh, rotation in autocad the rotation will be so to rotate that to 45 degree to hp i will give minus 45 so that i will get the um, exact uh, inclination right so i will just give minus of 45 enter so that the line will get inclined as uh, smooth as possible and uh, in this end you know it is missing a dash so copy and v so i will keep my a dash over here okay now I, I i will just draw the projection line so that i will change the color so I'll go with the line and I will just draw uh, projection lines from each and every end. From this end, uh, I am I, able to draw the straight lines only if the ortho is on, right? So I'm just drawing straight lines from each and every end. Okay. And I will draw projection line from all these ends. So from this point to this point, enter, enter. From this point to this point, enter, enter. Okay, from this point, escape. This point to this point, enter, enter. This point to this point, enter, enter. This point to this point enter to close the count now i will just uh, mark the points or mark the uh, like points right so so that it will be easier for me so i will just go for drawing tool my a and a will intersect at a point my b and b will intersect at a point my c and c will intersect here d and d will intersect here uh, e and e will intersect here e f and f g and g 
H and H, right? H and H will intersect over here. So I will just copy all those things and I will keep it. Control copy, Control V, and I will just go and place it over here. Similarly, B, I will select this. Control copy, Control V, Control C, and Control V. So this is going to be my point B. Similarly, C, Control C, and Control V. So here is going to be point C. D, Control C, Control V. So I will keep my point D. E, Control C, and Control V. So that I will get my point E. Here, select this Control C, Control V. I will have F. G, I will select this Control C and Control V. G, H, select this Control C and Control V. I will have H. Okay. Now, with the help of spline option, this we will use for our uh, construction of an ellipse and parabola, right? So, with the help of spline, so S P L I N E spline command, A enter. I will connect all those points. That is point. So, before that, I will change the color to white, right? I will change the color to white. Now I give spline command, enter. So I will just ensure that A, B, C, T, E, F, G, H, and A, and then you press enter to close the command. So that I have drawn my given uh, projection for, that is for the surface inclination, I have drawn my uh, thing. Now, what in the question they have mentioned is uh, its surface is inclined 45 degree to HP that we have drawn and the plan of the diameter AE makes 30 degree with VP. So you can see this is the diameter AE. This diameter AE is making uh, 40 degree with uh, VP. This is what uh, we need to draw. So what I will do is I will just copy all those lines first. I want to copy this and similarly I want to copy all those uh, letters which will be very much easy for me okay and uh, since it is a circle we don't have a corner or right so it will be a better option to copy all those points also okay Th this will be useful when once you draw your projection lines from the top to the bottom so always uh, copy along with the points i have copied all the points and similarly this ae line i need to tilt it right as per our question, this AE makes 30 degree to VP. So what I want to do is I need to take this AE line also. So I will also select this diameter and I will press enter. So depending upon this point, I will move it over here and I will press escape. So now I can trim off my unwanted lines. This line I don't want. So I will trim this line again. I don't want I will trim. So yeah, I will trim uh, this portion, this portion. Yeah. Okay, so I have uh, trimmed all my unwanted portion. Now, this diameter line AE is in 30 degree with VP. So, I need to tilt this to 30 degree, right? So, as you can see, if I go for rotate command and I will select the entire component. So, you can just drag and select the entire component. Now, I will press enter. So now I will specify my base point. This is going to be my base point, right? So I will just specify this. As you can see, it will always rotate in counterclockwise direction. I need this line to tilt to 30 degree. So as easily, you can just give 30 and enter so that the line will get inclined to 30 degree. Okay, always you remember one thing, you have a base point and depending upon that base point, the other line will tilt in the counterclockwise direction, which will be very helpful for you. Now, if you measure um, these two lines, ultimately the angle will be of 30. Okay, so that uh, whatever you have drawn is proper and correct. Now, what's the next step? Uh, the next step is to draw the projection lines from top to bottom and bottom to the top, right? If you want to move, you select it and you can move it over your uh, nearby distance. So I will just go for line. I will change the color and from all those points, I will just go for uh, projection lines to the top. Okay. Similarly from H. Similarly from G. Similarly from F. Similarly from E, C, 
similarly from E and similarly from D similarly from this point similarly from B okay from all those points I have drawn those lines and similarly from left to right right from this end to this end enter from this point to this point sorry control Z yeah this point enter and enter from this point to this point enter and enter from this point to this point enter and enter already we have a line so again and again I'm saying if you are uh, feeling it a bit difficult you can just switch off all your uh, grid line so that it will be easier for you to draw so now I will press escape now you can just give your points right I will just go for here I will go for points and your a what is your point a here is your point a right a and a will intersect at a point similarly your b and your b will intersect at a point your c where is your c here is your c your c and your c will intersect at a point your d uh, this is your d line your d and d will intersect at a point your e this is your e line your e and your E will intersect at a point your F and your F will intersect your G and your G will intersect at a point your H and your H will intersect at a point so I will just press escape now again I will just change the color now change the color to white and again I will use the same spline command spline spline command enter now this will be my point A right A B C D and this point is E F G and H and again A and I will just press enter to close the spline command so here is where my uh, diagram will look like now if I want to take this I can just copy all those A dash B dash and C dash towards uh, my line and if I want to uh, trim it over I can just trim all my unwanted lines and points okay so which will uh, make your diagram uh, pretty neat similarly you just uh, go to ddpt command and make all those uh, thing that is these horizontal lines and these points as small ddpt enter i will just reduce the small size right 0 0.5 i will give so that all the points will get uh, disappear it you will you will get a, a pretty neat diagram and uh, similarly you can just have this okay uh, you just uh, go here and you can just go for single line text somewhere uh, here enter and enter here you will have your um, a dash similarly at this point you will have your b dash right at this point you will have your c dash and similarly at this point you will have your d dash d dash this point you will have your e dash here you will have your f dash and at this point you will have your g dash and at this point you will have your h dash okay now i will press escape so that your diagram will look pretty neat similar the same way if you want to uh, make your diagram pretty neat i will just select all those things okay since i have used the spline command i can easily select all my curve at a single stretch and i will just uh, go for properties I'll go for layer and I will just mark it this to um, green color sorry yellow color so this is how your final diagram will look like uh, without the grid if you want to grid you, you can just switch on the grid and without grid this is how your diagram will look like so the only thing you need to know in your projection of uh, planes is to make this rotation angle how to make this rotation angle remember one thing when you have a line and when you give an angle AutoCAD will always take that to anti-clockwise rotation uh, depending upon your fixed base point right so this is how you will draw your projection of a circle and 
yeah this is just try practicing yourself try to practice a hexagonal plane try to practice a square plane which is very easier uh, and you just get your uh, uh, prominent results right uh, thanks for your time we will meet in the next video thank you